What role will gas have in supporting Europe's energy policies to drive down carbon emissions? European policymakers have sent a strong and clear and strong and clear message. They want to fully decarbonize the economy by 2050. We believe natural gas has to play a fundamental role in this process. First, we have the opportunity to switch coal to gas in the power generation. Second, we have a great opportunity to also substitute high carbon fuels in the maritime and heavy road transport. And third, but no less, less important, we have renewable gases. We have to keep investing in the technology to produce renewable gases in Europe. And this will be especially important in the long term. How are the structural changes of aligning and integrating the Iberian hub with the wider European market reshaping the Spanish gas market? So, this is a tricky question. We've, we've put in place the regulation needed to create a market in Spain. We've also designated a company to do that job, MIPGAS. It is a company in which Reganosa is participating and for sure in Spain and the Iberian Peninsula we have a great geostrategic position. We also have large regasification capacity, but to, to make all, the, all that capacity available for the European markets, we will need to increase the interconnection capacity through France. This is vital. To interconnect neighboring balancing zones will be vital to create a, a true European gas market. But I will say that Spanish gas market is slowly, but it's becoming a price indicator, regional price indicator. Reganosa has evolved from an LNG regasification facility to an international organization. So, what is next? Reganosa is, is an energy group focused on, on energy infrastructure. We, we, are, we are certified as transmission system operator, TSOs, at an European level, we also manage and operate regasification facilities in Spain, a Malta, a pipeline network. But we also developed a service division in the past. And through our service divisions, we provide services to our clients throughout the entire life cycle of our regasification or infrastructure asset, from the, from the developing of the idea to the final operation of the, of the asset. Now we are focusing on creating an LNG hub in the northwestern coast of Spain and we are also seeking new projects and new opportunities abroad. What technological advances do you believe will change and shape the natural gas landscape in the next decade? I think renewable gases are going to be key. To be key to move from being considered a bridge solution from the clean energy transition to be considered part of the final picture. We need to keep investing in renewable technology. We need to work with biomethane, we need to work with hydrogen, we need to work with renewable gases if we want to be part of the final picture. As part of the consortium for Gas Tech 2018 in Barcelona, what have you enjoyed most about this year's event? Oh, this, is, this has been for us a, a great experience. I want to thank Gas Tech for, for organ organizing this event. I think it's been great. It's been great being in Europe and we, we are amazed how the, how the industry evolved from Tokyo. So we, we are anxious to see what's next. <laughs>